Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. And I want to talk about um, a little um, trick you can use. It's called, I call it the uh, candlestick count confluence method. Now, the candlestick count confluence method is um, a way to kind of add the probabilities in your favor of at least a pause or a reversal at a level. So what I mean by that is um, if we count uh, candlesticks, so bullish and bearish, what you'll tend to have is maybe a couple of consecutive bullish or bearish candlesticks, you know, three here, you know, two there, two bullish, three bearish, two bullish, three bearish, two bullish. And even as you have this little downtrend here, uh, you've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five consecutive bearish candles and then you've got a bullish candle and then you've got a few uh, bearish candles and vice versa coming up so the candlestick count you know as you see consecutive candles um, is usually you know about three four possibly into the fives it's very rare that you get um, you know whether it gets rarer as you go to six seven eight consecutive bullish or bearish candles um, as you can see if we go back again you can you know just just do a count on your own chart as well and see how many bullish and bearish consecutive candles you know the average is it's usually around about you know three four or five possibly into the maybe sixes again it gets uh, uh, less um, uh, I suppose uh, it's rarer as it as you uh, get into the six, seven, eight. So when you see consecutive candle counts into a level of maybe seven, eight, or nine, ten plus into a major, you know, uh, supply and demand or um, support and resistance level, that should give you some confluence um, of at least a pause or a reversal, right? So for example, we're on the pound dollar daily chart, so. We've got a consecutive candle count into this level of supply uh, of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight consecutive bullish candles. Now you have to expect there's going to be some pause. I mean, the probabilities are pretty much in your favor. If you think about the psychology, if you were a trader down here and you bought, where are you gonna? Where are you most most likely to take profit? You're gonna take profit up here, and if you buy down here, you're gonna sell up here. If you're a uh, supply and demand trader or support and resistance trader, where are you most likely to probably try and get short? It's gonna be around here. So there's gonna be a whole load of sell orders around here. So um, again, price once price reached up here, it's very. Um, you know, rare that price will continue into the, you know, 10, 11, 12 and really kind of break through a level. So um, don't be scared when you see this type of price action. I know it's bullish and it looks like you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're basically selling into a really strong momentum move, but you've got the candlestick count confluence um, probabilities in your favor. Don't be scared of something like this. In fact, I love looking for things like this because it gives me the confluence in my trades to know that I'm, you know, should be on the right side of the market um, if we do get a pause, especially if you're trading on the lower time frame. So, you know, you, there's there's definitely an opportunity to make some money on the lower time frames. Um, let me see if I can find another um, couple of examples on some other charts. So here's uh, an example on the New Zealand uh, yen pair from the downside and the upside on the weekly chart. So you can see there was um, some uh, resistance here, resistance, 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 which then turned to support. Now, as prices came down into this level, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, you know, down weeks into this level of um, res broken, well, it was broken uh, resistance now uh, turned support. So you can have some confidence that, you know, people who basically were selling up here are going to be taking profit down here. And again, the longer it um, carries on is the more uh, you should see some, again, a pause or reversal. I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to definitely get uh, a reversal here or anything like that. It's just, 
Um, Because it also depends on fundamentals and sentiment and what's going on behind the scenes, central bank policy, etc, etc. So, you know, but I'm just saying that the odds are in your favour the longer you see the consecutive candle count. And now we have up to the upside. So we have this area of supply. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of, um, you know, of bullishness. And then we get our pause so then what you would you know you're more likely to do is look at this level on an intraday chart and then see if you can you know see your your entry and have that confluence behind you that you've had um you know uh, you're going to have at least some supply up here again from traders taking profit from down here all the way up here you've got supply and uh, supply and demand traders supply traders you know getting in here support and resistance traders etc etc so i hope that helps um have a great trading uh week and i suppose weekend now it's friday so uh yeah i'll speak to you soon